Anyway, how's it going everyone? Today we are finally going to sit down and talk about the next trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Uh, yesterday, I believe it was, Pokemon announced there will be a Pokemon Presents coming out tomorrow, for me at least, about 24 hours from the recording of this, and that is going to be on August 3rd. Uh, super excited, obviously we have not had any news in a hot minute, but this is a Pokemon Presents, not a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Presents. So before we quickly jump into my predictions for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and what I think we will see and what I would love to see, I do quickly want to touch on everything else Pokemon. So let's quickly jump into that. So the first thing I really want to see is a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. I don't care if it's a Generation 9 game or if it's a Pokemon Sky remake. I love the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. It is my favorite spin-off ever and I'm super, super, super excited for that. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we get a new one. The other thing I do want to touch on too is I think... I mean, I would like a Pokemon uh, Legends RCS DLC. I don't think we'll get it. Same with BDSP. I don't think we'll be getting any uh, any more DLC for those games. But if we get it, that'd be cool. Uh, outside of that, there's not really much else to talk about. I guess I would love to see a Pokemon Conquest, maybe a Pokemon Stadium. Uh, games like that would be cool. But again, highly unlikely, I think. Outside of that, what I think we will see, definitely we'll be getting news on Pokemon Unite. I think they just had a one-year anniversary. So I definitely think we'll get stuff on that. Pokemon Go, of course, also will get touched on. It's a massive game. Pokemon love that. Uh, potentially, DL, uh, potentially news on the TCG and the anime, uh, obviously very popular, I think we could get some stuff on that, and outside of that, probably maybe a Pokemon Sleep Cafe, you know, but those other mobile games, stuff like that, we could potentially get news on that, but anyway, who cares, that's, that's all the boring stuff, let's jump into the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet predictions. So, the number one thing I hope for more than anything out of this Direct, now, I don't know how other people are going to feel about this, but I really, really want the leaks to be proven wrong. Now, I, it's not because I hate the leaks or anything like that. I, I actually like a lot of the leaks we've seen so far. I'm, I'm pretty up to date with it all. But I think having the leaks be false or like fake or whatever, it would be the best thing to happen to the community. I think it would just cause such an uproar. It, it would just cause so much more excitement, I think. like at, at this point, I think a lot of people agree that the leaks are pretty real. Uh, so we kind of know a little too much about the game, at least too much for my liking. But yeah, I think if the leaks somehow got proven to be wrong, that would just be fantastic and it, it would make things a lot more exciting. And the other thing I really, really hope for, you know, I've, I've only got two things on my wish list and that is Megas. Um, I love Megas. I think it's the greatest thing Pokemon's ever introduced. I really hope they're back. There's not really much else to say. Um, other than that, though, I don't think either of these things are super likely. I, I think the leaks are going to be legit. I, I will probably get some form of confirmation in this uh, Presents. That's my assumption. And in terms of Megas, I mean, to me, it, it, it seems it seems so... It seems like the perfect time to bring Megas back into the series, but I don't think we're getting it. You know, the, the rumor is, obviously, this is a Spanish-based region. Spain and France are next to each other. Kalos are based on France. To me, it makes so much sense. But from what, uh, from what the leaks at least have told us so far, there will be no Megas, and that's kind of sad. But in terms of the things I think we will see, the number one thing is the starters evolutions. I I definitely think the first stages will be shown. Um, I mean, for me, I don't know if it's going to change too much. I, I'm pretty set on starting with Sprigatito. I think it is... <sighs> it's the it's probably my, my favorite, and I think the one that has the... It's the one least likely to get screwed up by its final evolution, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm complete wrong. Maybe it's going to be ass and Foycoco is going to be a monster. But I think for me, Sprigatito is probably my favorite of the base three forms. And I think its evolutions will continue and be uh, probably my favorite going forward. The other thing I think that is super likely next to the starter evolutions is the name of the region. Um, I can't believe we're in August and we still haven't found out the name of this region. It's honestly um crazy to me like i I, do, I just don't know why they haven't told us yet but obviously we've only had two trailers in like five months so uh, you know I, I don't know what else to say it's just it's baffling to me but it is what it is uh and i won't say what the region name is uh supposedly but yeah if you want to find out what the region name is it is supposedly out there i don't know how true it is because i believe it's the japanese name i'm not too sure but yeah that stuff's out there now, something I think that is almost guaranteed in this trailer is a handful of new Pokemon, probably somewhere between the area of three to five brand new Pokemon, potentially evolutions, I highly doubt it. We could, maybe we could see up to, uh, as high as like maybe seven new Mons. I, I definitely think seven's probably a little too high. I would love it. Um, maybe if it's like five new Mons and then starter evolutions to give us like eight could be potential i don't know i think it's kind of unlikely but also in saying that we have no information on this game so i wouldn't be surprised if game freak did drop like 10 new mons i just think it's really really unlikely 
but if they do release a few new mods i hope we at least get to see those pseudo legend and then maybe the you know the, the pidgey clone the the route one bird something like that I, I definitely like to see those i definitely think we get to see the pidgey um i'd love to see the pseudo legend i don't think it would be revealed this early but yeah something like that could be pretty cool and this is i guess th this is something I, I probably should have put in like my my quote-unquote hopes right but i think this is probably really really likely as well and that is this generation's new gimmick what do i mean by that that is the thing that helped sell this game in generation six it was megas in generation seven it was emus in generation eight it was gigantamax and Generation 9, it is going to be whatever we find out tomorrow. I think it is something that is super, super likely to be dropped. Um, if it's not revealed, I'll be shocked. Uh, we do kind of have rumors and stuff kind of hinting at what it actually is. Whether or not they're true, we'll hopefully find out tomorrow. But yeah, gener new generation gimmick is something that I really want and I think will be revealed tomorrow. Uh, and I guess besides that, um, the rest of it is just pretty obvious, right? We'll probably get a... We'll get a look at the tra uh, a couple trainers, maybe, you know, Nimona makes another appearance, potentially something more with the um, the professors, maybe we see a new rival or two. Uh, I think the new Pokemon, obviously, we see, we'll probably get a bit of spotlight each, whether that be, you know, three to five seconds of a battle, maybe using moves, whatnot. Uh, and then, obviously, I think they'll just show off the graphics of the game. I think it's going to be a beautiful game, and they're going to want to show it off. And yeah, guys, that's all I really think we're going to see in this Pokemon Presents, at least in relation to Pokemon Scarlet. I, I think we'll get a lot of news, but I don't think it's going to be anything like an eight-minute trailer. I think it'll probably be a, nice, be a nice little short three to five-minute trailer, jam-packed with information, um, you know, touching on everything I kind of spoke about here today. And so yeah, guys, that's basically it. If you guys like this video, please let me know down below. Drop me a like. And of course, I will be back here tomorrow night with a trailer reaction. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. But anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.